Hello friends, it's Nomad Brad coming to you from my box truck. Just hanging out in a parking lot in beautiful sunny San Diego. If you look off in the distance, you can see there's a roller coaster over there. So what I'm gonna be running you guys through is the proper procedure for installing a brand new set of lithium batteries. Enjoybot was kind enough to send me a pair of their 12.8 volt 200 amp hour lithium batteries. And so I'm gonna be swapping those out into my electrical cabinet for these 12.8 volt 200 amp hour time USB batteries. So we're gonna get a fresh set of batteries and they're orange, which matches the theme. I think it's absolutely perfect. So in my case, I'm gonna be installing two 12.8 volt batteries in series to create a 24 volt battery bank. So regardless of what you're doing with your batteries, the first thing you wanna do is get them fully charged up. I have this um, 110 volt battery charger. It just plugs into a traditional wall outlet. And this one's rated for lithium iron phosphate, LifePo4. That is the chemistry of these batteries. So what I did is I went ahead and just hooked up the charger to each battery to get them fully charged. And these are just about topped off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the charger and we'll go ahead and check the voltages. We're gonna turn on the voltmeter and we wanna make sure it's set for DC volts and there we go. So we'll go ahead and check charge of the batteries. First we'll check this left battery bank and you can see that's reading 13.59 volts and then we'll hop over to this other battery bank right here and we'll check that one. That one's reading 13.66 volts. So these two are basically fully charged even though the voltages are a little different, I'll show you this battery voltage chart that I use a lot of times. 13.6 um, volts is basically 100% capacity. And so we're right at 13.6 on this one, 13.66 on this one. So in my book, both these batteries are fully charged. Now, once the batteries are charged, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and equalize them. So what we're gonna do is connect both of these batteries together in parallel. So we're gonna maintain that 12 volt battery bank, or in this case, about 13.6 volts. And so we're gonna hook these up in parallel. And what that's gonna do is allow the current to be shared between these two batteries, and it'll kind of balance everything out and make sure that they're both equally charged. So if one battery is a little stronger, it'll send voltage to the other battery that might be a little bit weaker. So I'm gonna use these extra cables that I had laying around. These did not come with the batteries. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hook up one side on the negative. We're gonna hook negative to negative and positive to positive because again, we are doing a parallel wiring configuration. And then basically what you wanna do is let the batteries sit. The manual recommends 12 hours. So they recommend letting the batteries sit together equalized for 12 hours. And then once you've done that, they're considered fully, they're considered fully equalized. And then we can go ahead and hook them up in series mode, which will give us our 24 volt battery bank. And it's currently about three o'clock on a Sunday in beautiful San Diego. And so we're gonna leave these guys overnight. We're gonna let them equalize all night. And when I wake up in the morning, we will check voltages. So we're back at it, it's day two. The batteries have been equalizing overnight. And today I've moved to the beach. We're out here at Fiesta Island. It is a beautiful sunny San Diego day. We got the batteries right here. They've been connected overnight. We're gonna go ahead and check on the voltage and see how we did. See what the batteries are resting at. And we can see they're resting at 13.35 volts. And so now the next thing we wanna do is disconnect the batteries and check each voltage individually and make sure that the voltages are very similar. So the batteries are now separate. We'll go ahead and check voltage on this battery. 
and we're at 13.35 volts on the left. And now we'll check the right battery. And we are at 13.35 volts. So that's it. Both batteries are properly balanced. Now I can go through the challenge of taking apart the battery compartment. I got to remove the trim, this divider wall, and additionally this orange base. And then that will allow me access to pull out the old batteries and drop in the new ones. And so here is my battery bank, two time USB, 200 amp hour, 12.8 volt. So now what I'm gonna do is turn everything off, uh, power down the batteries, power off the solar. And actually what I'll wanna do is go up on the roof and turn off my solar. Let's go check out the roof. I'll show you guys my solar. So up on the roof, I have four 320 watt panels wired in series parallel. They come over to this combiner box. And so in here, this is my uh, disconnect breaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and that will stop the flow of energy from the panels into my charge controller. And whenever I'm up here, I always just check the wires, give them a tug, make sure nothing's loose. That all still feels really good. So now we're back inside. You can see on my inverter charger, MPPT charger, you can see only the yellow light is flashing. That means the inverter is on. The green light is not flashing. That means we have no power from the sun. The solar panel icon is not illuminated. So that means the solar is disconnected. We're good to proceed. Just to make a note, you always want to shut off your solar panels when you're switching your battery bank. You wanna make sure that the solar panels are not outputting energy without batteries connected. When you're installing batteries, you always wanna have the batteries connected first before you go ahead and connect solar energy. On this inverter charger, there's a little on off switch on the bottom for the inverter. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. That turns off the inverter. Now you can see the output is zero volts. It's just currently reading the battery voltage is 26.7 and that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn the disconnect off. That will kill power to everything else, the refrigerator, the diesel heater, any other loads that are inside the vehicle that could potentially be pulling a charge. Those are all disconnected. Now we can go ahead and just remove these two screws here, these two screws here, pull these batteries out, put in the new ones. It is dirty in there. I'm gonna have to get the vacuum out. And here we go, both batteries out. Time to do a little vacuuming and slide in the new ones. And here we are, new batteries all wired up. We have one positive from one battery connecting to the negative from the other battery. And then the positive from one battery going in to my power switch the negative from the opposite battery going in to my Victron Smart shunt. I went ahead and kicked on the power switch and now we can see the unit is back up and running 26.6 volts on the battery bank, 120 volts being inverted. So all the appliances should be working again. We'll go ahead and do a test. My vent fan, my overhead lights, my cooktop, everything is working all the power is good now i just have to run up on the roof and turn my solar breaker back on and then we will see the solar panel icon indicate and these new batteries will start charging as one and there it is we can see the icon for the solar panel we are getting power from the solar coming in charging the batteries and additionally powering the inverter my battery voltage just jumped up to 27.3 volts. So we are currently charging. Our battery is currently getting 1.13 kilowatts coming in. That is 1100 watts coming in from my 1200 watts of solar. Very nice. It is in bulk charging mode. 41 amps coming in from the solar 
very healthy 40 amp current coming in 1100 watts coming in i love it looking very very healthy so that's it we got the enjoy bot batteries installed they look very nice i'm happy that they're orange they look much better now they match the carpet they match the epoxy countertop they match the nomad brad van theme so very, very simple, very straightforward install. I hope this helps you guys out if you're looking to wire up batteries inside your vehicle. And keep in mind, this is for a 24 volt battery bank, but you guys can also use these in a 12 volt battery bank. You just wire the batteries together in parallel rather than series, and you can have a 12 volt system and uh, you're off to the races. So I like Enjoy Bot batteries because they're a good value. As far as price goes, um, you know, they don't gouge you. You, get, you really get a lot of battery for your money. And additionally, it has a lot of advanced features. Of course, all the traditional BMS cutoff points, if you overcharge or over amp, anything like that, it'll just shut down the battery so you don't damage it. But additionally, additionally, these batteries have the low temperature charge protection so if you're in a spot where it's cold out and you don't want to have to worry about damaging your batteries pick up a pair of enjoy bots and they will keep you safe even in the coldest temperatures that's it for today's video guys i need to now uh put my paneling back together in the cabinet and that's it we're all done i don't know what time it is but i think that took me less than an hour to do that battery change out and you guys can do it too i believe in you that's it from me, guys. Nomad Brad, signing out. Peace.